Now check this out. This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Welcome to just a dash after two o'clock on the Chrissy Swan Show. I want to thank you for one of the greatest nights of my night life last night, Jack. You're so welcome. I sat on the couch. Look, you know, it's an Airbnb couch, so it's just very bad dark brown vinyl. <laughs> is it leather? No. no I think it is leather, but I think it's very cheap and nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. It's it's soft. It's got a bit of softness to it, though. It could be worse. I notice you won't sit on it. You've got the nice cushy armchair. Yeah, with the, <laughs> the ottoman. Yes, yes. I don't have that. But we watched... Vanderpump Rules yeah. last night. And Part three of the reunion. It was just we nursed takeaway in our laps and we laughed and you answered all my stupid questions and it was really a beautiful moment. And we're going to play one of our favourite moments, I think, after three because they were angry, weren't they? Oh, I've never seen such fury. Yeah. At one point I looked at you and I said, do they know that this is being filmed? It, yeah. Like, put your manners back in, <laughs> as Tom Cruise would say. <laughs> uh, we've got Crizzy Quizzy coming up. I've got a great story to share with you. My friend works in a shop and the stories that people tell in order to get a refund or an exchange on stuff... It, it's my favourite. Oh, I love that. It's my favourite conversation. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. You know, today sort of marks pretty important anniversary because I've, I'm up in Sydney uh, filming my singer. Yeah. And I did it last year. That was my first year that I did it. And I'm back for another year, which is I'm incredibly fortunate and excited to really get cracking on it. But it marks a year since I fell in love with the Frank Green water bottle. Right. I, I was trying to think. Friday, June 9. What did? What were you doing? What happened? I want to tell you a story of an love against the odds. My friend Abby, who is also on the show, gave me my very first Frank Green water bottle. Oh, was a, that's a good gift. It was a great gift. She gave one of, to each of us on the panel. Oh, that's nice. And it was really life-changing because if you don't concentrate on water, you, you just you dry up like an old tortoise, which is in the next story that I'm going to talk about. But it changed my life, and now I want... Frank, new Frank Green things all the time, and my daughter is obsessed with it. Yeah, Peg lives for the accessory. Lives doesn't she? for it, everything. Anyway, I've been following on TikTok. They've made a holder for it, so it doesn't roll around like a giant fire hydrant in the bottom of your car. Well, it's back online, and this is a community service announcement. The car drink holders are back online, ready to buy. Get cracking. I think they're nineteen ninety five. Question. I know your Frank Green water bottle is like the size of a water tank. It could right now all well, of Sydney Jack, would I'm be... not an idiot. I've got three different sizes, but yes, <laughs> keep going. One of them's massive. Yes. But the smaller size that I use. Yes. Does that not fit in a regular that car fits. holder? Okay, good. I was gonna say, surely they made one that does. That fits the one above, which is the most popular size. Doesn't fit. Right. Doesn't fit. Okay. Unless you've got this thing. Anyway, good tip. that is not spawn, whatever. Come at me, but um, <laughs> I, I believe it's important for people to know. Now, I want to talk about tortoises. A Kansas woman has been reunited with a lost tortoise nine months after it went missing. Now, I smell a rat. Why? I smell a rat here. What's the rat you smell? Because here's the thing. Have you ever... You don't really like pets, do you? Like, oh, there's no room in your heart and your black, cold heart. As a kid, there were, but not as an adult. Okay. I'm an adult. I don't well, need a pet. what you wouldn't know as an animal lover is that if your beloved animal disappears, the very first thing you do is make signs, go down to oh, office work. What a punish. Run them off. <laughs> run I mean, them get off. Get a job. And then you go around and you put them yeah, in the Yeah, I know. I see it. All right. This woman, her tortoise, she... Es- escaped. Have you seen how fast they go? Not very. No. All right. There's a little fairy tale called the hare and the tortoise. The tortoise is slow. <laughs> so it moseyed off her property. There was no signs anywhere saying lost my tortoise. It only got five doors down. Now, if that tortoise was five doors down and there was a sign somewhere on the street saying lost tortoise... That tortoise would have been found within seconds. I reckon this Kansas woman wanted to get rid of that tortoise. <laughs> so she's let him out. She's gone, go on, I'll wait. 
six hours until you're at the per- the perimeter of the property. Tortoise abuse. Tortoise abuse. The Chrissy Swan Show. Who doesn't love paying less for their favourite beauty brands? Love paying less for glowing skin or love paying less for feeling better? Find great prices on everything you love only at Priceline Pharmacy. Shop in store or online at priceline.com.au. Herbert Adams Pies are the gourmet for the everyday. Find them from the supermarket freezer aisle or at your local service station. Wait a minute. Chrissy Swans. Who are you? Who am I? This time yesterday I was chowing down on a perfect temperature Herbert Adams Pies and I promised you I'd bring you one and it's just at the end of the desk but you can't eat it yet. Okay. But how good do they smell? They are the best. They are ridiculous. We've got Reese on the line. Hi, Reese. Hello, how are you? Good. You registered on the Nova Player app. Was that a punish like I imagine anything technological would be for me? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. A few times, actually. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. And good Reece, on you. Your, your twin played a few days ago, I'm told. Yeah, um, my sister Morgan, she was um, she guessed Reese with a spoon. Yes, I remember her. How much did yeah. she win? Um, $200. Yes. And that's weird that your name is Reese yeah. and she yeah, guessed Reese, and then you randomly you've been picked today. Well, I hope you win more than her. I, I hope you're better than her, yeah. Reese, because 200 bucks is pretty low in this game, if oh I'm honest. Oh, my God. That's it is. Harsh. So we shall see. All right, let's get cracking. Uh, I've got five clues here about a particular celebrity, and I've also got 500 bucks cash to give away. But for each incorrect guess you make, I'll take away $100, actually. Jack will. Um, after I read out each clue, we've got, you've got five seconds to guess. Let's do it. Clue number one. I am one of Chrissy Swan's most loved actresses. Follow on Instagram. Love her. And she spoke about me on the show this week. I have mentioned this actress this week. You have. This could be a lot of people, though. But you have mentioned this. It has. Yes, yes, it could be. I'm obsessed with a lot of people. Uh, Sorry, Reese. Your five seconds was up. Did you say, are you still there, Reese? Yes, I am. Okay. All right, kind of, kind of think. <laughs> Clue number two for 400 bucks, Reese. In one of my recent movies, I'm known for saying yes to absolutely everything. Oh. It's hard. Oh, I'm thinking of someone. Who, though? Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, Reese. We're down to clue three for 300 bucks. Okay. I'm going to switch the clues and you and can't yuck, stop me. You're about to do that. It's and al- Friday. Who and cares? also this clue is wrong, but I'm going to correct it on the fly. I was previously married to Ben Affleck. We have two daughters together, Violet and Serafina. Serafina, I recently took to Disneyland with J-Lo's daughter. Oh, um, oh, Jennifer Garner? Yes! Oh. And that's three hundred dollars. So you can name. tell you can tell your twin Morgan to suck it. You got a hundred dollars <laughs> more. <laughs> well done. Thank you so much. Did you like that I changed that clue on the fly? It gave me. It made me a bit nervous. But anyway, I'm happy for Reese. I did it right. I did it right. You can't. You can't question me on my Jennifer Garner facts. No, going into the week. Oh no, I respect that. And going Thank into you. the weekend, I'm glad Reese got a bit more cash. Absolutely. The Chrissy Swan Show. Can we pay your bills? Nova's pay your bills. All right, just a dreamscape here, Jack. Yeah. I know that you spend far more than you earn. The truth. If you could choose one bill, not your credit card. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what would it be? Uh, probably my rent. Is that too obvious? No, how much is your rent? My rent, it's just gone up. I think it's like... Yeah, hasn't it? Everyone's gone yeah, up. Yeah, it's... Maybe fifteen hundred a month. Wow! I don't, know. I don't know. No, it's gone up more than that. It's gone up more than that. But that's, say that. That's still a lot. That. That's yeah. still a lot. That's what you would choose, Camelia. It's you. Yay! Yes. Now, what? Oh. What is the bill that you've nominated for us to sort out for you? It is the excess for my car insurance. Hang on. Have you smashed yeah. your car? <laughs> I may have reversed <gasps> into a car. <laughs> oh, no. Isn't that annoying? It, it had a bad week so far. <laughs> Were you parking? What happened, Camelia? I just dropped my child off at kindy after work, and then I reversed, 
straight into a car because I had not had much sleep because my baby was unwell. And <laughs> God, it's so easy in those situations to just feel so hard done by and so sorry for yourself because yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving so much to this other person and it feels like there's nothing in it for you and you're doing something you don't even want to do. <laughs> you know, which is pay for kindy, and now yeah. you've got this. Well, I'm thrilled to tell you that we Yay. are covering oh. that $500 excess for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has made so my now, week. Before you get it fixed, go and really write it off. You know? <laughs> Give it a good crack. <laughs> Have a great yeah. weekend, Camellia. And if you would like your pill paid, just like Camellia, jump on the Nova Player and register your bills, and we could be calling you next week. Now, I want to talk about an article that I've found that makes me feel vindicated, and that's my favourite favorite feeling because quite often I feel like the, the thoughts in my head <laughs> are only are only ever in my head. Yeah. And most people wouldn't think the way I think. But in a very weird twist and an odd sentence to say, a Gold Coast influencer couple seems to think the same way I do. Why? Now I don't know who these people are. Chloe Sepanowski. Ah uh, yes. And her partner Mitch Orville. I don't know who they Angry are. Dad's son is Oh, Mitch okay, Orville. got that. They've got two kids. They've been together for eight years or whatever. But they have revealed that they sleep in separate rooms. And I think, this is a sweeping statement, should have done it yesterday. I think separate bedrooms for couples is the only way to go. Yeah, okay. I am never, ever sharing my bedroom with anyone ever again. What if the partner you're with finds that aspect important Hit and wants road. to... <laughs> Hit the road. There's no compromise. There is no compromise on that. There isn't. And I, I'm sorry if you don't like it, then you don't like this. <laughs> you ain't getting this. <laughs> if you don't like that, you don't get this. I cannot... I mean, I do share a room my, most nights with my daughter, but that's different. I will never... I love having my own room like the most delicious treat in the world. I fully get what you're saying and I agree with you. There's nothing better than you're in bed. But what about after like sexy time, you're going to be like, all right, we're done, bye. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Down the hall. See ya. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your visit <laughs> and your, your hours, and minutes of service. Uh, good night. <laughs> Absolutely. Under no circumstances will I share a bit <laughs> with another person. Chrissy's Quizzy. She's got the curly questions and the cash to give away. Hit the Nova Win page for your chance to play Chrissy's Quizzy. Thanks to McCain Pub Style Chips. Yes, indeed. We've got Tabitha, one of the great names. Tabitha. Hi, how are you? Oh, my God, how, how good, gorgeous. How you? Was, was your mum a huge fan of Bewitched? No, I was actually named after an Irish nurse that helped deliver me. How lovely. <laughs> cool. I love that. And Paige, you've got a beautiful name too, Paigey. Welcome. Hi, how are you going? Good. Oh, you've got a, a raspy little husky voice there. It's oh, do you know what? I'm so sick and it's so embarrassing, but I was like, tough it. Oh, you sound gorgeous. You've still got a really nice oh, voice, though, Paige. Yes. You can hear it behind oh, the rust. She's one of those voices, I think, honestly, but not husky. Want a job? <laughs> oh, it sound, you sound gorgeous. We've got a bit of a cold, too, so you're in good company. Here's how it works. Your name is your buzzer, my friends. It's a best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins the game. And oh, we'll what? strap on this money can't <laughs> buy Chrissy Swan Show bum bag. And thanks to McCain Pub Style Chips, our winner also get 200 bucks cash and two. $200 to spend on McCain's bits and bobs. Oh, wow. Question, I know, how divine. Question number one. What does GP stand for in medical terms? Tabitha. Yes, hey. Tabitha. General practitioner. Yes, general practitioner. Question number two. Today is Johnny Depp's 60th birthday. He gives me the creeps, by the way. Name his character in Pirates of the Caribbean. Tabitha. 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 Captain Jack it is Captain Jack Sparrow. I love Paige, Paige. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Two points to Tabitha, none to Paige. Come on, Paige. Get back in there. We want to hear that voice. Earlier this week, Nova hosted a Red Room. Who was the artist that performed? Paige. Yeah, Paige. Ye yes, Stephen Sanchez. Well done. We were there last night. We were there. We were there last night, me and Jack. 
Two points to Tabitha, one point to Paige. This one's for the win, Tabitha. Krusty the Clown is a character from which cut? Yes. Simpsons. You are correct and you are the winner. A valiant effort, Paige. Well done. Thank you so much. But you have got the bum bag and the $200 cash and a $200 McCain's voucher, Tabitha, and a beautiful name. So you win all round. Thank you so much. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. You know, Elliot Page is that gorgeous trans actor. And you know... Juno. Yeah, from Juno. Yeah. But I can't remember what we used to call him. That's how far away from... What did we used to call him before he... My Googling is just not fast enough. Formerly Ellen Page. Ellen Page, right. So when he was... You know, in his previous identity, yes, in his previous body, he starred in a great film called Juno. Have you seen it? Yeah, lots. I loved Juno. I loved it too. I loved it. And if you haven't seen it, please go see it. It was just amazing. And he's great in it. Like the role, it's a really nice. I don't know. It just makes me feel nice. Up. It's it's difficult, isn't it, to refer to him who he is a him, but when he wasn't a him. Formally, in Juno, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a it's a tricky one to get our head around, but we are trying to get our head around it. Anyway, Elliot Page has come out and said that he had an, a little affair, a little love affair, with his uh, co-star from Juno for right. two years, and they were getting up to all sorts of shenanigans in, you know, uh, trailers and. A little restaurant, private room, I and mean, all sorts. The thrill of secretly hooking up with someone on, on set of a movie, I get it. I bet it was very interesting. That, of course, has come from his new book, Page Boy, which I saw at the airport, actually. <gasps> Strong name. Yes, what a isn't title. it? Page Boy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, last night we had a wonderful evening. We did. Romance and takeaway <laughs> and Vanderpump rules. I'm nervous to speak about it in case I inadvertently give away spoilers. Yeah, because some people might be saving it up to watch on the weekend. Of course. It didn't disappoint. There was this bombshell that they were t- they'd, they'd been teasing that we learned that I thought was going to be a bit bigger, but that's okay. But one of our favourite moments was when uh, Ariana, who Tom Sandoval was cheating, he that's his girlfriend that he was with for nine years. Yes. He cheated on her with Raquel. And Ariana was so angry, wasn't she? Like, um, I've never seen anyone that angry in my fire. life. Yes. And she somehow managed to weave cheese grater. Oh, did she ever? Into an insult. Have a listen. I genuinely was coming from a place of, do you want to be in this relationship? Because I'm The answer was what? yes. And you had already f***ed him at that point. So shut the f*** up yourself with a f***ing cheese grater. You're disgusting. <laughs> and I wish nothing but the worst shit that could ever happen to a person on you. I think she's a bit right. That is pretty... I was pretty shocked when it all came out that someone would do that to their friend. Yeah. And be so... They, Raquel just doesn't seem apologetic about it. No, that's the issue. She's not showing issue. enough mercy. God, you've got me. You've absolutely Next season, got me. you'll be in there. You'll be yes, in. Yes, absolutely. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's Correspondence. Now, I really want to put out a community service announcement to everyone. Get riding, please. <laughs> Get riding. Get in there. Get Slide in, in there. So this is what you do. Step number one, follow us on Instagram, The Chrissy Swan Show, and then just send us a message. Feedback, anything you want. Nudes. Maybe nudes. <laughs> do not send nudes. Or maybe send them to Jack. No, Wim- don't. Women don't like dick pics. There you go. There's a community service announcement. Gays do. Can you? I know they do. Uh, do we have an email address or is that just not going to happen? Nah. We're not worthy. <laughs> no, nah, we're not worthy. All right. Get onto Tech Instagram. bothered. <laughs> Please tell us <laughs> okay. everything you think about the show. Like, just like Bruce. Bridget did, who says, I love listening to you guys, especially Jack's extremely sexy voice. Oh, Bridget. Maybe Bridget's, I could moonlight as a 1-800 person. Mm, Bridget's not for you. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> that sounds like we're talking about her appearance, though. No, no we're not. Wrong gender. J- Jody, do you need to make a little sound? I guess if you've got 42,000 emails unread, you aren't going to read this. Oh, the shade. Oh, shade. I love it. I uh, I had 42,000 unread emails. Disgusting. Do you want an update on that? Do you yeah. Want to see how many more? What are we at? Let me, oh, it doesn't recognise my face. I'm, I'm too old and tired. It is Friday, though. E- even my phone doesn't recognise me. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> um, 42,334 now, so we're just slowly it's climbing. Slowly but surely. 
Jody says, I guess if you've got 42,000 emails unread, you ain't going to read this. I want to see if you would want to talk to me on your radio about us bringing a big kookaburra to our town Donald in the heart of Victoria. <laughs> I mean, there is so much about this I love. A, I'm mad for a big thing, like a big kookaburra, a big rocking horse. Big banana. Yes, there's a big worm in Victoria that just looks like a giant poo. Where? Uh, on the way to Phillip Island. I want to see that. It's amazing. There's lots of giant things and I'm mad for them, but I'm not as mad as I am about a town called Donald. Yeah, send us more deets, Jody. I'd like to do a phoner, 13 24 10. Do you live somewhere that doubles as a Christian name? I just think that is so wonderful. Okay. I live in Donald. Yeah. Bit of I, fun. I live under Donald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah was keen to watch a show that Chrissy rec- recommended, but she couldn't remember the name. Acres, forget the name of the show. I mean, look, typing is a hazard. Are you drunk, Sarah? <laughs> I've forgotten the name of the show Chrissy said to watch, the missing child one. You know, that's... All I need. Did you know the answer to this? No, because we talked about missing, dead or alive. What's the other, the new recommended one? Okay, because in the 80s, kidnapping was a thing. That was the biggest threat. Like yeah. now it's like, you know, you're going to get sex trafficked or whatever. Yeah. But then it was you're going to get kidnapped. And there is a great documentary on Netflix called Captive Audience. Captive Audience. About a guy called Stephen Stainer, I think his name is, who was kidnapped in plain Sight. Scary. It is the most fascinating story. Alrighty, one more message. All right, Rebecca loved another one of Chrissy's recommendations. Maybe we need a show suggestion segment. See, I think we should have that because it's the first thing you ask your friends when you see them. What are you watching? Okay, it says, not sure if you got my first message, but I'm writing again because I'm a mad woman. Thank you for talking about watching Gordon Ramsay's ABC episode. If you're wondering what that is, Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, ABC. They're the search terms you need. I watched it together with my nine-year-old son and we loved it. It was pure insanity. Yes, it is. And I'm so glad that you bonded together over that poor woman's Amy, her name is, her Amy's Insanity. And then Sarah finishes off with this, Chrissy, you need to publish a cookbook. I'd buy it. My son is only four and I'm already out of meals, <laughs> meal <laughs> ideas already. Me too, boo. Me too. Uh, Uber eat, Sarah. The Chrissy Swan Show. I used to work in a shop, right, and one of my favourite things was seeing people trundle up to the front counter with an old bag from the shop yeah. and a look of, like, exasperated fury. And I knew exactly what they were doing. They were trying to do something naughty that involved refunds or exchanges that they shouldn't have had. And their manager gave them away before they'd even opened I their mouth. I fully get it. I remember working at General Pants and people doing this. Yes. And one of my favourite things was to really, like, analyse the receipt and, like, pretend I'm standing there looking at it. I didn't know what I was reading. You just stand there like, mm. Mm, you know, it's uh, the same with kids. If you give them enough time, the truth will come out. Yeah. Right, because people can't stand sitting with silence. One of my best friends works in a re- big retail store, right, and she said, oh, my God, I've got an absolute ripper for you, and I'm just going to read it to you so that you can enjoy it. Please. Today at the shop, a lady brought in a face washer that she brought that she bought from the store in July 2021. Okay, so... Two years ago. A face washer. Which are not an expensive item. And she wanted a replacement because it had a stain on it that she couldn't remove. Because she's probably used it within the two years. She had it. There was a stain that she couldn't remove. She said it was faulty material. In short, I said, my friend, um, I'm sorry, but I mean, this, this face washer, you could see that it had been in constant rotation for two years and someone had maybe mopped up something and it, it doesn't come off. You don't get a refund no. for that. She kept at it, and when she realised I wasn't budging, she grabbed it and said, I'll never buy another face washer from this shop ever again. <laughs> so I text back, lol. She goes, oh, there's more. She originally said she bought it about a year ago, but I found the original transaction in her file, and it was two years ago. She also bought two hand towels. I asked her what the other one, what two, two face washers. I asked her what the other one looked like. She goes, oh, it's fine. So there can't be anything wrong with it. She said, my friend said, some people are mad. She did the whole, look, I don't want to get into a fight over this or anything. And I said to her, as you can see, 
I'm not fighting. No. I'm just listening to you. How excruciating. Uh, people are so strange, are they not? So strange. So strange. And on that note, it's the weekend. Let's get strange. It is the weekend. Well, what does getting strange mean to you, Jack? Enlighten me, because I am living with you this weekend. We're in Sydney. I'm filming The Mars Singer, so yeah. we're, we're living together. What is your idea of a strange weekend? Two bottles of red and I'll show you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be upstairs in my room with the door locked, but thanks for the offer. It's the Chrissy Swan Show. Have a gorgeous Friday and a beautiful weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.